Still got that jerk bait down. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here at SD Fish and Sips. Monday, April 8th, 2024. And I'm here in beautiful Santa Cruz, California at the Santa Cruz Small Craft Harbor. And I was out in front of Bayside Marine right here checking out that their gear, but they're not, they're not open right now. They got Mad Max, they got halibut bounce ball rigs, plastics. I was checking out some of the stuff. I was hoping to get maybe some squid. I'm gonna do some bounce balling for some halibut, maybe cast some of the tube baits and uh, swim baits candy bar the candy bar scrimps see what we can make happen i'm gonna go get the solo skiff uh set up down at the end pay for parking and then maybe cruise through here on the way out looks like we got a boat commercial guy going out right now but they were seeing some bluefin in here people were spotting bluefin out over the canyons but i'm not going to go searching for them they were saying seven miles out of moss landing yesterday bayside marine does a really good report so i checked their report see what people have been saying road warrior mode right here got it locked in i got the rods and reels in the back and then the skiff right here orange flag on the back of it and we're traveling thank you all for watching following along living the dream here from baja down south to northern california up north and beyond live the dream so here's the setup that we got going for the launch i pay right here and then the launch ramp Since nobody's here, instead of putting it on the wheels and wheeling it down, I could drive my truck. But the, the, it's just a steep pitch without a T-bed extender. No, I think I'm just gonna set it up and wheel it down like I usually do. But I'm gonna go ahead and get paid and then check out this sign right here danger harbor entrance is shoaled breaking surf frequently occurs so i need to take a look and make sure that's good but it's smaller swell today the winds coming out of the north uh right now stronger and then it's going to shift lighter straight from the west but the winds are looking good today swells looking good and then i'm going to head a little bit south out because I can't fish rockfish right now. It's only in federal waters out here. Deeper federal waters. That's uh, 50 fathoms, uh, 300 feet or deeper. You got to fish up here until May 1st. Right now it's open rockfish season in San Diego is open at depths, at the shallower depths. Not bad. 15 bucks. I got it till midnight. I can park in this spot, money spot right here set up my gear on the back and then just wheel it down just saw a boat going out it's going to be beautiful conditions you're on the outside of the harbor now got the santa cruz beach boardwalk and the pier the wharf coming out i was there yesterday santa cruz beach boardwalk with my dad we went on a ride on the giant dipper shout out to the giant dipper and the beach boardwalk and especially to my dad always have a great time with them
east towards Capitola, west towards the west side. There's the lighthouse at the end, the steamer lane down there. It's just absolutely beautiful here today. Loving life. I'm glad I came out here on the beach side. Twin Lakes Beach, I think this is it. Yeah, the doesn't look like the waves are really breaking. Should be a nice, mellow, easy launch. Clear day, look at this weather. I always luck out. Yeah, not bad at all. It's cold though. That's the only thing that's why I'm kind of hesitating going out. Probably in the 40s. I'm soft now that I'm living in San Diego, spending time in Baja. But life is good, life is blessed. I'm so grateful for all these opportunities and experiences and then spending time with family up here. Getting to see my nieces and my nephews. That's what it's all about, the next generation, the kids. Been in really enjoying working on Wanu, half day trips, fishing with families and kids in La Jolla, San Diego. Last time I was here in September, super foggy. You couldn't see any of this. Now you can see it all. At the launch, Santa Cruz Small Craft Harbor. Beautiful day in here in Santa Cruz. It's eight o'clock now. I got caught out talking. I ran into Sven. Shout out to Sven. He's been fishing salmon 30 plus years out of here, out of Santa Cruz. He's seen a lot, fish a lot. I caught a big bluefin. Talking to him about that on a live mackerel out of here, October 2022. Got it tied down the straps. It's travel mode. External gas tank, hook it up. Three and a half gallon external gas tank. Pump it. Make sure it's in neutral. Choke out about three quarters, push it all the way out, and then push it back in a little bit gas on a uh, start mode give it a couple pulls mercury the bees Four stroke, six horsepower, goes about 12 to 15 miles an hour. Usually 12 and a half. What I'm doing on flat waters, watch out for the barge coming in right here. These guys were posted up on the docks. Stay clear. My fish finder turned on, battery. Let's see. Got my dual 
two lithium batteries or three in here. I'm gonna try to jink some live bait. But I got the gold mate. Shout out to Goldmate, they sent me this lithium battery, 12 volt, 128 watt hours. Make sure that it's hooked up nice. Then I put that with the connections from Amazon. Then some of the waterproof connectors from Harbor Freight put the connection inside with the fuse inside the Pelican box and then got the gasket from West Marine Rolly. Here that's all waterproof connection that goes inside. Got my plastics here that I'll fish with. There we go. Fish finder turns on. Have it like so. Wow, wow, wow. Pure beauty. This guy's mashing. Little barge worker. All maintaining this channel. Oh, I gotta flip down my transducer. There's a buoy out here, straight out, straight south. And there's a reef around the buoy. That's where we're gonna fish. Because I was just talking, like I was saying, I was just talking with Sven. Friends, Sven is a master from the area, or just longtime fisherman. He's put in a lot of hours and caught in a lot of fish. Salmon specialist. So he's bummed out, salmon and crab. They're not having the salmon season probably most likely again this year. They haven't made the announcement officially, but that's what it's looking like. The rockfish opens up later. Now it's in May 1st in the shallower depths and the deeper depths. But right now it's only in federal water. So there's a federal water line, supposedly. I was looking for it. Oh yeah, here's the California line. But see how it comes so far out. That's what I was seeing here. I, you can't fish. I was hoping to fish these fingers where it gets out to 360 right before it drops off. But you can't fish all that because it, this is state waters and then outside it's federal waters. So you have to be fishing in federal waters and 300 feet or deeper right here right now. I'm not going to do that. I got my bounce ball rig for halibut. I got my sabiki to make live bait. I got my tube bait white two bait i got my candy bar scrimps right now i got my sand dog live bait set up hopefully i can make um sven was saying smell not mackerel here because this looks like some ripples on some bait but there's a little uh yeah a little wave right here but not bad they had signs about the channel i don't want to mess around too much with it earlier. It's not that bad weather-wise, but I'm loving the views. Last time, like I said, it was so foggy. Today, you can see clear down to Capitola, almost all the way down to Monterey, Carmel. It's all bluefin zone too. That's the beauty about this. 
just putting in my time, getting the feel for the place, and add this to my locations for bluefin fishing also. Bluefin, halibut, rockfish, link cod. But no rockfish, link cod today. We're going all halibut. I might try those pipe jigs. But I don't really want to get too much bycatch with rockfish. I gotta keep my eye out on the meter for bait. And I got my Navionics too. There's some birds right here. This website, or it's an app, Windfinder. is good for wind and also windy and you can pinpoint they have buoys set up at different locations that you can see on the outside it's blowing hard but on the inside it's not too bad because i was looking at this buoy There's some birds over here but also i like to use navionics navionics boating app and here we're coming out and there's the buoy. So what's cool about this, I can start a track now also. I do all these tracks. Got a new iPhone, I got iPhone 12 now. Got more battery capacity. So Wind Finder, Windy Apps, Navionics Boating App. First little bait ball I've seen. Is that kelp? Huh? I got the Okuma JR. Shout out to JR for Okuma Komodo Baitcaster. Might as well just troll it. As long as I'm going slower. Wait for bait balls, it marks 40 feet. 8 12 in the morning. I didn't check the tides. Oh, that's what I go off of too. Surf line for tides and surf forecast. That's a subscription. Avionics, I pay for the subscription. What we got here? What the heck? I didn't know this has a clicker bait caster. What? Oh. Thought maybe it's just kelp and debris. But I felt maybe, maybe a mini bite. Smell. Oh, what's that? Keep moving. One bird dipping right here. What's he doing? Look at that. <laughs> I don't know, for me it's different and it's so cool. See the beach boardwalk like that. I've never seen it from out on the water here like this. Everywhere I go, beautiful. By the mile mile marker buoy and i haven't made any baits so i'm going to go ahead and put the bounce ball rig on i saw my navionics boating app that i'm just outside the rocks if i'm over on this side so i'm going to kind of make my way over towards this low spot hole right here and see if any halibut hanging out <laughs> Center hatch again. Can 
I got my balance ball rigs right here, ready to go. You got one pound weight on this three-way swivel. Tie this up top here to my braid. No, this is the big one. I want to use my... Yeah, I guess I could try this. And then the white hoochie with the double hook. I don't have any bait. I got these plastics to put on them. Might go ahead and do that. First, I'm gonna fish it with nothing, see if I can get bit. I've heard people fishing with nothing. Shout out Michael B. The Wahoo, San Diego Wahoo Slayer on his of a private boat. He got Wahoo and Marlin before, I think in 2015. But he was fishing, he got bit in San Diego using a bounce ball rig with the squid hoochie. Same thing that I'm about to tie on right here. I'm gonna cut off my braid and the live bait setup that I had on here. Set this to the side. Make sure I hold on to that sliding clip. It's an important part of the rig. Or just to have those. I got my 65 pound white braid. Cut off the whole barrel swivel. San Diego jam, jam knot with eight turns, seven or eight turns. Cut off the tag end. Everything's all straight. Wait and get it moving in gear. That's why I think the key is dropping this thing down. Moving in gear. So I can get. Geez. Ball weight down. The weight's down there. Flasher's swinging it. And the hoochie's moving side to side on the back. <laughs> Down. I have my, I saw, I do have my leash. This is my older setup. I'm gonna say I don't have to worry too much. If I wanted to troll hard, baby. Bounce ball, trolling. Let's get bit. In a good zone, going out towards that. But uh, maybe I wanna be closer in towards the structure right here. Oh, I should dip it. Pound in sand, it hasn't even been that long. Keep my eye out for bait and just be casting this too. This is a stupid bait on a A clip, candy bar A clip. The stupid bait JR gave it to me. He's in San Luis Obispo, Central California. And then I got it on 20 pound liter. Long fluorocarbon 20 pound, all bright knot to 40 pound white braid on the Daiwa Proteus. It's a 12 to 25 pound, 30 to 60 pound braid, eight foot rod, medium action. And we're gonna.
All right, I want to check this. I mean, it seems like it's swimming right. Those are just pretty deep shakes, weird. But they're consistent. I want to keep the boat moving, boat moving forward, skip, solo skip moving forward as I... Nope. just out here trolling hard 70 feet of water 72 dipping a little shallower gotta get bit got that bounce ball down i got those plastics i could put out there going a mile and a half two and a half They're boats out in the distance. Just a beautiful day on the water here. Pure beauty. You got the mountains in the background. Dang, I was just... It seemed like I was getting a biter. It started going... Or I don't know if I was just hung up on the bottom. Nice bait wad too, right where I'm at. Yeah, there's a fish on here. Nice. Keep moving. Keep it moving forward in gear. Dang. So is this a calico bass or a calico rockfish? But look at that. Pretty crazy on the bounce ball rig here. We're fishing in Northern California, Santa Cruz. We got the, we got the beach boardwalk in the background and caught our first fish out here on the bounce ball rig. Squid hoochie. Like a calico rock fish. Olive rockfish, some sort of rockfish, but they're not in season in the shallow waters like I was talking about. So I gotta release them. But hey, catching fish, targeting halibut, and getting fish on the hoochie. There's a bunch of bait. I'm gonna go ahead and put this. It's a nice fish. And we need to go ahead and release this. Got him with the second hook. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. I'm gonna try some of these Berkeley Gulps here. Scented pink grub tail plastics. Oh dang, there's some nice marks right there on the bottom. Could just be all those rockfish though too. It's the same zone that I hooked up in last time. 
No, I'm just gonna let this second one dangle. Got the pink grub tail, the hoochie. Scented Berkeley Gold Plastic. It's a three-way swivel. Get it untwisted. I've been doing a good job of being able to just troll this thing. Put it down. Get my rod in real ready. I like to bring it up and see how it's swimming. And then drop it slowly, this is the key. So that hoochie doesn't get caught up somewhere in front of the line. And then when you hit the bottom, getting it a couple cranks off the bottom. There you go, on the bottom. About four cranks, three to four cranks. working in the rod holder fine. Troll hard, baby. Dang, I think I got hung up on the bottom. <sighs> Not what I want to do. Gotta go back. Just let it. Go down a little bit lower. Didn't do enough cranks trying to get greedier. There you go. Nope. There you go. That's good. Got my rig back. Check my maps. Started a new troll. Got that one fish. It's 10 o'clock right now. Not sure what time the high tide. I'll probably fish till. Yeah, nice. It's still. So I'm gonna go ahead. Try it again with no. Plastic on the hoochie, just a straight hoochie since I got bit that way before. It's the first fish I've caught on the bounce ball. That was an olive rock fish or a calico rock fish. All I know is not in season. Troll hard, baby. Let's get a bit. 10:45 now. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I made the mistake of keep letting my line out. There it is. Piece of kelp. Got wrapped around the ball. Now it's wrapped around the hoochie and the hooks. Okay. Maybe I'll go ahead. No, I'm just gonna keep it straight. It's been working the best. And I got that other fish with nothing on it. Just the straight white hoochie. I'm gonna do the same. Head back towards the mile buoy. Just keep trolling the edge of this structure. Troll hard, baby. It's trolling hard here by the red, by the mile can, mile marker buoy. That one bite. 
Trying to get a halibut bite. But I'm trolling good. Balance balling good. I've only got that one hang up. Just keep covering distance and pounding the ground. Pounding the ground. Get bit. It's almost 12 noon now. Still been trolling, only got that one bite. I'm gonna bring this up. And instead of that hoochie behind the flasher, I'm gonna tie on Lucky Craft jerk bait. See, I'm still swimming good. Cut off leader up top. Put on a fresh one. I got some 25 pound test. Twenty-five pound Yozuri. Floral carbon leader. I will do maybe an 18 to 24 inch long leader. Tie it. Boom, the Lucky Craft. People use this for fishing in the surf a lot. I'm gonna give it a shot out here. Cause I've heard people catching halibut on these jerk baits, trolling those or Rapalas. But I think this should have a good side to side action with that flasher as the flasher is kind of moving it side to side, jerking it a little bit. I'll tie a jam knot to it. Check out my sword pliers. These titanium pliers are just a beast along with the flay knife. Use the link in the description. Buy your own pair using that link. It helps out the channel. I get a commission off of the, the sale. and helps support these travels and these adventures. It's one of the things that I like about Yozuri. It's just the packaging, it's a little more, it's a little smaller than Seaguar. I like Seaguar fluorocarbon a lot too. Make sure that I'm in the right spot here. Not in deep water. I'll come in tighter to the reef and the rocks. Look at how this thing swims. Good, you see how it's, it's shaking too much. Twist it up, probably. Let's see, 
Yeah. Probably when I hit hit the bottom. Brutal. Give me my last pass here by the mile buoy. I still got that jerk bait down. Swimming good. No other biters. I'm just gonna wake my way back in. 12 o'clock right now, 12.15. Be back around one, pack myself up by two. Head out and then it's about eight hours to get back down to San Diego. It's been by 10, 11. My fish LJ tomorrow for rockfish on the solo skiff. Love it. Love it life right now. It's beautiful. Look at this. Look at that mark. Thought I had a biter. Might be another small fish. Yep. There we go on the jerk bait. Downfall jerk bait, what do we got now? Check that out. Whoa. There it is, the wing cod on the Lucky Craft jerk bait. Next up here in Santa Cruz. Not the right species, but another fish. And that balance ball. Pound weight and the Dodger Flasher. Trying to get the release on this bad boy. One to the eyeball. Just broke that. That hook off. Hopefully he gets back down. Took off one eyed fish now, though. Hit that lucky craft. Put it back down, continue in. That's the bait that they were that he coughed up. Look at how small that is. I don't even think that's the anchovy, does something else. Yeah, I guess that is the anchovy. Jeez. Right outside those rocks. I'm gonna go to. This seabed area right here. You gotta check this. Let's see. Before I go past this next seabed area, it's feeling fine. Like there's no fish on it. And then I'll reset. 50 feet of water now, shallower water. 
Still swimming good. I like this. The town's falling just the artificials. Hoochie, squid hoochie, that white one first. And then the, there we go on the bottom. Troll hard, baby. Commercial guy in the park is coming back in. Saw him out by the buoy earlier. We're getting into the shallows. I'm just getting shallower and shallower. I'm bringing this up little by little. Off the bottom, I'm still trolling that lucky, lucky craft jerk bait. 40 feet of water now. Getting closer to the marina, to the harbor. Trolling hard. Coming across a bait ball or something, maybe we'll get bit. That halibut and that rockfish, but they're out of season now in these state waters and under 300 feet. That's the regulations. That's going to do it. That is it. And that's all for bounce ball trolling here in Santa Cruz. Today is the also the eclipse, solar eclipse. Came out here, launched out. I got to see Sven. That was awesome. At the launch ramp, talked to a couple other guys that were going out. Put on the squid hoochie. Hooked up with the rockfish. Threw them back. Good release on that. And then put on the jerk bait, Lucky Craft. Hooked up on the link call with that. I don't know. I think it was a little short anyways. 22 is the minimum size for link call here in California when the season's open. But it was all about that. Dodger flasher, one pound weight. The bounce ball rig. I was fishing that TLD 20 reel, saber chaser rod, my yellowtail reel, trolling reel down in San Diego. Love and life. Thank you all for watching, following along. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe, pound that like, show all that love and support you've been doing. Hit me up, californiaskiffs at gmail.com. If you want to get yourself a solo skiff, I'll get it to you get you all set up so that you can be slaying fish you can become with one with the water this guy's coming in it looks like he's going out for tuna tuna searching right here big boy super cool i'm loving life right now life is good life is blessed one love let's get back to the truck and Drive back down to San Diego. Trusty Mercury always doing work.